Nanjing Forestry University, NFU, has a history of more than 100 years to build beautiful China and to establish ecological civilization. Located at the foot of the beautiful Purple Mountain and near the lakeside of Xuemwu Lake, NFU is a comprehensive university co-administered by Jiangsu Province and the Ministry of Education. In 2017, NFU was listed as a double first-class university by China government. NFU merged from the forest departments of Central University and of Jinling University, integrated with the forest departments of Wuhan University, Nanchang University and Hubei Agricultural College. It is one of the most important cradles of higher forestry education in modern China. Forestry is its special feature, with advantages in resources, ecology and environmental sciences. NFU has 74 undergraduate programs in 22 colleges with over 30,000 students. According to the fourth round of the National Disciplines Assessment, Forestry Engineering, Forestry and Landscape Architecture were listed as A-class. Forestry Engineering and Forestry were ranked as A+. NFU has a highly qualified teaching staff, including two academicians of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, has 300 winners in varied talents projects at the provincial level, such as 333 Project, Qinglan Project, Six Talent Peaks, and Double Innovation Plan. Responding to the national strategic needs and forestry development frontiers, NFU has produced fruitful achievements in basic research and technological innovation. 46 projects have been nationally awarded, 2 in first place and 26 in second. Since the 11th five-year plan, NFU has obtained 9 second place national awards of technological invention or promotion. In the past five years, the total number of awards have ranked NFU as the 49th among universities in China. As the important basis of scientific research, NFU has 49 research institutions at the national, ministerial and provincial levels, such as the National Engineering Center of Biologic Materials for Mechanical Products Packing. NFU has an established long-term collaboration with 69 universities in 26 countries and regions, pushing forward the aggregation, integration and the sharing of various innovative elements and educational resources. NFU is now building its campus culture by taking ecological culture as its special feature, making a commitment to the conception and awareness of ecology and green development. NFU's 16th Party Congress has taken a clear-cut and firm stand in building NFU into a world first-class forestry university with a development of three-steps strategy. Today, together with its teaching, administrative staff, striving spirit, Vigorous efforts and hard work, NFU is forging ahead in writing a new chapter of building a double first-class university. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to the second Global Bamboo and Rattan Conference. This is Nanjing Forestry University, the set of the parallel session of bamboo developmental biology and its sustainable management techniques for bamboo plantation. First of all, please allow me to introduce our honored guests, 
attending this parallel session. The vice president of Nanjing Forest University, Professor Yin Tongming. Director of the Science and Technology Department of NFU, Professor Wang Guibin. Director of the International Cooperation Department of NFU, Professor Yang Jiama. The famous both tennis and the bamboo technologist of NFU, Professor Ding Yulong. The famous bamboo molecular bamboo, uh, biology scholar of NFU, Professor Wei Qiang. Of course, there are also many other bamboo experts attending this session online. They are Professor Gao Zhiming from the International Center for Bamboo and Writing. Professor Gao, say hello. Hello. Professor Wang Shu Guang from Southwest Forestry University. Wang Shu Guang. Okay. Right. Professor Chao Guirong from Subtropical Forestry Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Forestry. Chao Guirong. Okay. After the, this introduction, they will show us their great research. Hope you can get what you want. I'm Liu Guohua, the moderator of this parallel session. I'm working in the Bamboo Research Institute of Nanjing Forest University. Now, let's welcome our Vice President Yin Tongming with Mom's applause. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's my Great pleasure to give Earth Beach at the opening ceremony for this session of the second Global Bamboo and Writing Congress. On behalf of Nanjing Forest University, I would like to express my warm welcome to all of you. I would also like to thank the International Network for Bamboo and Writing, the International Center for Bamboo and Writing, Southwest Forest University, and Jiangxi Agriculture University for their strong support for this great event. On November 19th, Nanjing Forest University will celebrate its 120th anniversary. Our university is one of the first established forest universities in China, and we are pleased to witness its development into a comprehensive university honorably supported by the National Double First Class Initiative. Nanjing Forest University currently has 21 colleges offering both undergraduate and graduate programs in a variety of disciplines, including science, engineering, agriculture, liberal arts, management, economics, law, and fine arts. Seven disciplines, including engineering science, botany and zoology, agriculture science, material science, chemistry, environment and ecology, and biochemistry are now ranked to the top 1% of the ESI research areas worldwide. Study on bamboo science at Nanjing Forest University began in 1953, making our university one of the leading units in China on bamboo study issued by China Forestry Department, the Bamboo Research Institute of Nanjing Forest University established in 1985. It is the first research institution in China specializing in bamboo science and sustainable management of bamboo plantations. This parallel session is an important part of the second global bamboo and writing Congress we greatly appreciate the organizing committee 
give us opportunity to hold this session, and we hope our work will help to go further with the cooperation for the international bamboo community. Your participation is a great honor to us due to the pandemic. This meeting is organized as a combination of online and on-site discussion. Although some participants can only attend online, I believe organizers have carefully planned all aspects to ensure the quality of the meeting so that everyone can learn and can be benefited. At last, I would like to wish you a successful meeting and hope all of you enjoy this great event. Thank you very much. Thanks to the Professor Yin Tongming. Okay, now uh, let's welcome Professor Wei Qiang to show his report. Dr. Wei is now working as a professor at NFU using morphological anatomy, biochemistry, and molecular biology experimental methods in combination with high throughput sequencing technologies. Dr. Wei's laboratory is investigating the biological mechanisms underlying the unique development of bamboo, such as primary singling growth and rapid growth. Welcome, Dr. Wei. <coughs> okay, everyone, uh, good afternoon. Uh, first, uh, thanks very much for the uh, organization committee for giving us the opportunity uh, to introduce our recent progress about the bamboo camp development. Uh, okay, so as we all know that bamboo is an important forest tree resources in the world. Okay. It can be used for many uh, purposes. Uh, our ancestors in China used the bamboo. Okay. Okay. <coughs> So now uh, bamboo can be used for uh, various purposes. Okay, it can be used for fuel and for paper making and furniture and, and handcrafts. And it can also be used for a uh, very special usage such as this uh, bamboo shopper. Okay, uh, it is a kuchu uh, bamboo shopper. It's very, very expensive. Uh, it costs about 3000 US dollars. Okay. And This is a bamboo tracker, okay? The, the photo I took uh, in Colombia uh, by our former director, Professor Wang. Okay, it can be dried, okay? It's a real truck, so very amazing. <clears throat> and this is my uh, student from uh, Brazil. Okay, once he uh, brought his bamboo bicycle uh, into my class and show
And it is also very expensive. Uh, he told me that it was about 5,000 Chinese yuan, okay? So uh, you can see that uh, most of uh, bamboo cum is the major part used by people, okay? And generally taking uh, most of bamboo as an example, the development of bamboo cum can be divided into five stages. Uh, the first one we call the occurrence of rhizome bud, okay? And after the awakening of the uh, dominant bud, it will enter into the second stage uh, of we call the primary thickening growth. This process is very important. Uh, to mainly determine the calm internet number and the calm diameter. And even it has a very uh, close uh, connection with the uh, calm height. And uh, the third development stage we call the rapid uh, growth of bamboo calm. And this process primarily determines the internet length. After this process, so that it will then enter into the, uh, the fourth stage. We generally call it uh, stable secondary cell or thickening stage. Uh, that means that the cell in the calm wall, in, in the calm, will increase their cell wall thickness years by years. Okay? And after about 10 to 12 years growth, uh, the calm okay, will finally die. Uh, but before the dying, uh, to trigger another or the finer development stage, we call it the senescence. Okay. But unfortunately, uh, for more than one thousand years, we have been studying okay, uh, the rapid growth of muscle bamboo. The other four development stages, uh, uh, we have paid little attention to uh, these four development stages. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, recently, two groups in China have established the genetic transformation and the gene editing system of two bamboo species, the ma bamboo and the muscle bamboo. Okay, so uh, this is Professor Zhuo, the first uh, group to establish the uh, genetic transformation of ma bamboo and uh, muscle bamboo, and this is the second group from. Uh, Fujian Agriculture and the Forestry University, Professor uh, Zhu, okay, they also established the genetic transformation and the gene editing system of ma bamboo. <clears throat> so uh, they are successful in the genetic transformation uh, of bamboo, give us or shed light on the genetic uh, improvement of bamboo. But here's another question that the key gene that could be used for genetic improvement of bamboo cum are still far less unknown. <clears throat> okay, so uh, based on this research background, our group, uh, uh, the first work in our group, okay, uh, is focused on the thickening growth of muscle bamboo cum. Okay, so in this study, uh, after about 80 years continued research, we established <clears throat> Uh, or reviewed the morphology and the cellular changes during this process and found several interesting results about this process. For example, we found that this process displayed a uh, spiral growth. So it's very, ama uh, very amazing. Uh, this spiral growth can let uh, the muscle bamboo, the underground shoot, uh, grow from the underground easily. Okay. <clears throat> The second work in our group is also about the primary thickening growth uh, of bamboo shoot. We found, uh, we found that the shoot epicomary stem is very important for the development of transport development in bamboo cum. So uh, this, this is the shoot epicomary stem of muscle bamboo at stage two. Uh, it is very small and it had two uh, types of cells we call tunica cell and corpus cell. And in this study, we found that the, the uh, morphology of shoot epicomeric stems and the total cell number of shoot epicomeric stem even or n, this ratio of corpus cell to the tunica cells are very important for the transfer development of bamboo cum. Okay, so uh, as the example, for example, uh, this is a variant with 
uh, reduce the size of shoot epicomeric stem, and it has also less number of uh, in shoot epicomeric stem, and the ratio of copal cell and tunica cell is also uh, abnormal. Okay, so this kind of uh, abnormality, okay, will finally uh, trigger a irregular development of the uh, next shoot bamboo shoot, and finally will result uh, the size reduced come with ununiform secret a uh, secret a uh, secret word okay <clears throat> and uh, another part important part in our group is to explain or review the molecular uh, mechanism underlying the rapid growth of bamboo shoot so as we all know that bamboo can grow very fast uh, taking muscle bamboo as an example, it can grow more than one meter, okay, uh, per 24 hours. Okay, so it's very amazing. Uh, although there are lots of reports uh, regarding the fast growth of bamboo, okay, but several questions are still unclear. For example, the kinetic cell growth per meters are still unknown. So we still didn't know uh, why bamboo can grow so fast. It depends on whether it depends on the cell growth rate, such as the cell division rate or the cell elongation rate, or both of them. We are we didn't know, or we don't know. So based on this uh, background, <clears throat> after another eight years continued research, we first established the growth model of a uh, muscle bamboo. Uh, this is uh, we established uh, the growth model from a. Uh, a uh, typical fast growing internode. And from this picture, we can see that uh, the growth of muscle bamboo internode displays the sectionalized growth behavior. That means that uh, within the growing internode of muscle bamboo, it has three zones. We call it the division zone located in the bottom of the internode. And above it, uh, we call the elongation internode. And the, re the remaining parts, uh, we namely it's the secondary cell with thickening zone, okay? So due to this kind of sectional uh, growth zones, we uh, reviewed the kinetic cell growth parameters during the rapid growth of muscle bamboo. Uh, from this tip table, we can see that uh, the, the cell growth in muscle bamboo are, uh, is very amazing. For example, it can produce more than 500 million cells per 24 hours uh, at the fastest growth stage. And the cell elongation can help the internet growth to uh, 12 centimeters per 24 uh, hours. Okay, and the cells and the lignin depositing rate also is very amazing or much exceeds the other plant. <clears throat> okay. So after uh, this work, uh, we can see uh, we can say that why muscle bamboo can grow so fast because many uh, we also find that uh, why muscle bamboo can grow so fast. We found that at the fastest growth stage, we found more than forty internodes elongate at the same time. Okay, so with this kind of a uh, lot of internet elongate at the same time, and the, in, uh, the single internet can also produce lots of cells, and the many cells elongate at the same time with very quick deposition of the lignin and cells uh, deposition rate jointly support the rapid growth of muscle bamboo. <clears throat> and based on uh, the growth model, Based on the growth model of this typical fast growing internet, we uh, finally revealed the molecular basis uh, during, this, during the rapid growth of this internet. And also we revealed the environment factors associated with the, uh, this internet growth. Uh, and also we uh, found several hormones such as the giblorin and abscisic acid have very important roles in regulating the cell growth behavior of this internode <clears throat> because the time is very limited. So uh, if you have interest 
on the rapid growth of motor bamboo, you can read our paper. And if, if you have any question, you can also write an email to me to, for further discussion, okay? So another work about the rapid growth of, of bamboo uh, is about the pit cavity formation uh, of bamboo during the fast growth stage. We found that uh, uh, after a comprehensive analysis of the formation of the pit cavity of bamboo cone, we found that the programmed cell death has, has, a, has an important role in regulating the pit cavity formation of bamboo. <clears throat> And the third research work in our group about the rapid growth of bamboo is to use, use a slow growth variant to review uh, the key genes involving in this process. So this is a very interesting slow growth variant. It is, very, uh, it is dwarf with uh, shortened and swollen internodes. Okay, it was discovered in Japan in 1934. Uh, and was introduced to China by our former director, Professor Zhou, in 1985. <clears throat> so you can see from this picture that this is a rhizome, okay? So you can see that the rhizome internal is very short, okay, and swollen. <clears throat> and by using this variant, okay, we found that the oxygen pathway genes and the possible downstream functional genes, such as the silver growth and the vesicle transport and other genes may have key gene regulating uh, the cell growth of bamboo during the fast growth stage. Okay, so uh, uh, in the year, uh, in, in the last year, by a further study about this variant, we found that this variant is very interesting, that it's, it is a, a variant with irregular division zone. And, and by a comprehensive analysis, such as the transcriptome sequencing and, and not anatomic uh, observation, we found that the brushing those droid signals transduction, the defect, a defect in brassino stroid signal transduction in this slow growth variant may cause the irregular internal division zone. Okay, you can see uh, this result. This is our transcriptome result. Okay, you can see here that the brassino stroid signal transduction was inhibited uh, in the division zone of the slow growth variant internal. And also the whole plant, such as the branch and the leaf, also displayed uh, brassino stroid signal transduction uh, deficient phenomen phenomenons, okay? <clears throat> and there is another question, very interesting question. Uh, uh, we are uh, frequently thinking that, so where is the nutrient from? Or where do, uh, where do the nutrients come from uh, for supporting such kind of rapid growth of muscle bamboo or other bamboo? Okay, so uh, lots of scientists have had paid attention to this question, such as Professor Song uh, in Zhejiang Agriculture and Forestry University. Uh, he pointed out that in his work that uh, the car carbon hydrates uh, supporting the rapid growth of bamboo may be from the metro com connected uh, with the bamboo shoot. So we are also uh, thinking about this kind of question. So we also did several works about uh, the source of the carbon hydrate for supporting the rapid growth, okay? So uh, we found that the carbon sheets may have or may play an important in supporting the rapid growth of uh, it attached the internodes, okay? For example, so by a radio labeling technology, we found that the photosynthesis uh, assimilate uh, in calm sheets can transport it, uh, can transfer it into the, uh, it's covering into nodes. By covering the calm sheets, we found that the growth amount of the internode uh, decreased about 50%, okay? 
And interesting, we've also found that the sheath synthesis uh, may have a close relation with the growth decrease of its attached internode. The growth decrease in internodes may trigger the sugar accumulation in the sheath, and then the sugar accumulation will up your, uh, regulate the high hexokinase gene, such as hexokinase 6. Uh, this is a very important gene that can trigger the leaf synthesis in, the, in other plants. Okay, And this kind of gene will finally trigger the sheath synthesis in bamboo. So uh, this, result, this result clearly demonstrated that the interaction between the internode and uh, its covering sheath or its attached sheath uh, displayed a source sink relationship. Okay, so it's very interesting. <clears throat> okay, so as a last, uh, I give my many thanks to our pioneers in our Bamboo Research Institute. Uh, such as Professor Shun, uh, Mr. Bamboo, and his students, our founder of Bamboo Research Institute, uh, Professor uh, Fountain uh, Zhou, and also uh, my, uh, my supervisor in Bamboo, Professor Ding. Uh, he is also the pioneer of the study of the growth and development in Bamboo. And I also thank very much to my students uh, for their hard working. Uh, on come development of bamboo. Uh, these works are mainly achieved by four students, four PhD students. Uh, Dr. Wang, now she uh, served as a lecturer in Fujian Agriculture and the First University, and Dr. Guo, and Dr. Chen, and uh, now Dr. Gao. <clears throat> and also I thank my uh, supervisor in Cornell University very much for his help on our transcription analysis. And uh, with this chance, I uh, would like to introduce our uh, recent special issue about the molecular uh, basis of uh, development of bamboo in plants. Uh, now we are organizing this, uh, this special issue. If you have interest, you are welcome to sub submit our, the paper to this special issues. And we can give you the discount, maybe about 20% to 50%. And thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. OK, uh, thanks, Dr. Wei. So uh, if you are interested in about historical or research, or uh, uh, if you have any questions, maybe you can communicate with uh, Dr. Wei in email. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Wei. OK, uh, let's welcome Dr. Gao Zhiming show his report. Professor Gao. Dr. Gao is a professor at the International Center for Bamboo and Rattan, China. He's working on the molecular basis of growth and development for bamboo and rattan. He has made outstanding achievements in bamboo and rattan genomics and functional gene research. Uh, Hello? Uh, you haven't uh, stopped your shared screen. Okay, okay, it's okay. Okay. Professor Liu, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. It's very clear. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, my dear friends. Uh, I'm Jimin Gao from International Center for Bamboo at Rattan. I'm very pleased to be here to share our research work on bamboo with you. My topic is the molecular mechanism of lignification in shoots based on the population characteristic information of muscle bamboo. I will share our work with you as follows. First introduction, why we select bamboo and conduct our research work. 
As we all know, bamboo is one of the important forest resource, which is uh, green, abundant, and renewable. Uh, there are more than uh, eight, eight genera and uh, more than 1,600 bamboo species in the world. And the annual output of bamboo is more than 30 million tons. In China, there has more than 30 genera and more than 800 bamboo species with 70.01 million hectares bamboo forest area. And the bamboo can substitute about 20% timber each year. Woody bamboo is a wonderful gift of nature widely used for many things, which is considered as a good substitute to timber. It can be used for agricultural equipment, uh, living utensils, bamboo buildings, bamboo charcoals, and bamboo fibers. Why bamboo can be used widely? Because uh, it has excellent wood property. The, and the excellent wood property are determined by its internal structure. For example, the graded structure, the vascular bonds are similar to the steel bars, and the parenchyma cells are similar to the concrete. And the cell wall is a multi-layered structure composed of lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. Among the bamboo species, most of bamboo is a representative bamboo species with great economical and illogical values, which is widely distributed in 17 provinces and regions in southern China. Accounting for more than 70% of the bamboo forest area in China. However, it is a it is further development and breeding has been handled by a lack of population genome information. There has many bias to bamboo cross breeding, such as a long period of vegetable growth, a long time to reach flowering stage, complex genetic background, uncertain flowering, and encountered blooming, low fruiting rate, and died after flowering. Therefore, we conducted our research work with representative most of bamboo for population study. And we collected uh, most of bamboo samples from 15 representative geographic areas in China. This red point is where we collected our bamboo samples. We collected uh, we collected the leaves and treated them with silica gels for resequencing and uh, get the uh, bamboo piece from the comb up the grass height for physical and mechanical properties measurement. Meanwhile, we also recorded the phenotypic parameters such as clear comb height, note number, and ground diameter, and so on. Based on the analysis of phenotype data, 427 representative individual videos are used for resequencing. In total, we generated 16.6 TB data and mapped this data to the reference genome of mouse bamboo, resulting in an average sequencing depth of more than 20 folds. Through analysis, we found there are a lot of, a lot of variants, such as SMP, indel, and deletions. Finally, a total of 5.45 million high quality SMPs and 21,000 SVs and 168 uh, CNVs are identified at the norm level. Further analysis showed there has a fair apicular 
assigned phylogenetic groups according to the genetic structure and the large scale geographical distribution. And the most of bamboo is probably originated by a single region event from East China. Despite the low diversity compared with other plant species, we found a notably high genotype heterozygosity ratios of 18.33 in most of bamboo at individual level. We also conducted the analysis uh, to the long continuous heterozygous SMP clustered uh, regions of a high frequency and the low frequency region. We found the genes in the high frequency region and the low frequency regions. And uh, we found 38 high uh, frequency region containing more than eight thousand genes which are enriched in biological process of pollen and reproduction recognition, as well as defense re response to fungi and bacteria. And we also found 15 uh, low frequency region containing more than 400 genes which are enriched in amino acid biosynthesis process and uh, transcription regulator activities. We found low genetic uh, diversity, high genotype heterozygosity, and the genes and the balance selection underlie most of bamboo population adaption. This is an example uh, regions of balance selection detected in the whole genome mouse of bamboo population based on B2 statistics. There are many candidate genes such as RPM1, F5H, and PAO. RPM1 is a disease resistant protein gene. There are many high frequency heterozygous SMPs are detected in the RPM1 gene region, such as axon and UTR regions. Further, we conducted a, a overall population structure landscape and the inferred population demographic history and a, a ND phylogenetic tree of 427 bamboo individuals is constructed, and the individuals are grouped in five clusters. Further analysis indicate uh, most of bamboo has experienced bottleneck effect during the last glacial period. And we use uh, two method, PSMC and uh, SMC++ method, we get the similar results like this. We conduct, we conduct a genome-wide association study with SMPs to identify associated variations and uh, possibly related genes. Firstly, we obtained, obtained the physical and uh, mechanical properties, such as the density, comprehensive strength, bending strength, elastic modulus, maximum load, and the incentive modulus. And then we make device analysis. We return 190 samples and more than 1.9 million SMPs for device after a series, series of quality control steps. And these are mind plots or market treated associations identified using statistical approaches. These are the plot for density and the bending strength. And this for the comprehensive strength, elastic modulus, maximum load and uh, tension modulus.
this is a summary uh, for the MTS for uh, the six uh, properties. We identified 85 candidate genes to be related to the cell wall carbon hybrid mechanism and the environmental adaptation. Next, we construct co-expression networks for candidate genes identified by DEVAS. We focus on the candidate genes involving lignin biosynthesis. Since lignin is one of the key component of cell wall affecting bamboo properties. The lignin biosynthetic pathway is very cleared and high conserved, like this uh, picture from the first step catalyzed by the first uh, key enzyme PRL, and uh, the last step, uh, the monopolymer uh, polymerization by the allylation and the PRX. A large number of components such as MIs and the TIFs have been found to form a complex regulatory network, among which NAC, MIF are the master switches regulating downstream TIFs secretly. Lignin accounts for about 16 to 34 percent of bamboo dry weight and uh, determines the sniffs of bamboo. The content and the distribution of lignin is uh, the foundation of its excellent mechanical properties and the important base for bamboo processing techniques. However, how lignin is genetically regulated in bamboo? This is our research work, focus on. We invested the morphological and the physical changes in bamboo shoots during fast growth. We found that the content of lignin and the degree of lignification increased with the bamboo shoots height increasing. Whereas the activity of two key enzymes, PRL and LAC, first increased and then decreased with the shoot growth. Based on transcriptum sequencing, we identified the differentially expressed genes, including the enzyme genes and the transcription factors involved in lignin biosynthesis such as uh, MIP, NAC, and uh, the enzyme gene PL, and uh, PX, and LAC, and so on. We proposed a regulatory network involving lignin biosynthesis pathway in muscle bamboo, including 11 MIIs, 22 TIFs, 36 enzyme genes in which Lexis is one key enzyme for monolayer polymerization. And the differentially expressed MI and uh, target genes are validated by QPSR, which are similar to the result of the high throughout sequencing. Meanwhile, the function of PLAC20 is further validated. PLAC20 is a blue copper oxide dye, and overexpressing PLAC20 can promote lignification in transgenic Arabidopsis plants. Meanwhile, East Y hybrid assay and EMIC assays also showed that PLIC 20 is regulated by MIPS. Therefore, a MI-mitigated MIP 
PLAC20 module for lignin monomer polymerization is proposed, like this picture. In summary, on the basis of muscle bamboo resequencing, resequencing and analysis, we have identified the candidate genes for muscle bamboo properties and validate the regular regulatory model of lignin polymerization, which will help facilitate bamboo breeding and the development and utilization of muscle bamboo resources. However, to obtain the ideal varieties of bamboo with high yield and quality, this is the only tips of iceberg, and much work remains to be done. And there are a lot of people uh, supporting our research work, uh, including uh, Professor Ding, Professor Wei, and Professor Liu. Uh, thanks, and uh, many foundations support our research work. That's all. Thanks you for your attention. Thanks, Dr. Go. And uh, welcome Wang Shu Guang show his report. Dr. Wang is now working as a professor at Southwest Forestry University, Yunnan Province, China. Currently focused on the area of bamboo physiology, anatomy, micropropagation, and water and assimilates transport during development. Welcome, Dr. Wang. Dr. Wang. Hi, Doctor Liu. Could you help? Uh, could you listen? To, uh, heard me? Yes, it's very clear. Okay, okay, okay. Nice to meet you online. Yes, me too. <laughs> so, so thank you. Thank you. Give me the chance to introduce my works. How to share my works? How? Okay. Which one? Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is my uh, my name is Xu Guang Wang. I'm from Southwest Forestry University. Uh, I would like to introduce my works on Phytaceae unanensis. We have focused on this bamboo species uh, for about fifteen years. Uh, I will uh, introduce it from the following section. The Phytaceae unanensis is an alpine bamboo, mainly distributed in Sichuan and Yunnan province of China. It can grow up, uh, it can grow up in uh, 50, uh, 50 meters in height and, uh, and 5 centimeters in diameter. It, 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 it distributed distribute in a range of uh, 1,000 so for 500 meters to 2,800 meters, it has a near solid but a calm bottom and can tolerate relatively low temperature and droughts. It's one of the most easily available resources to supplement the local wood and it's also known for its edible food. So, so it, it was called by the local people and Xiang Shui Zhu, the research shoot bamboo. There are four, four variation types identified according to their comes comes color and theta. Uh, these three well, have been have been also right for the plant new variety power. And uh, 
so this be this kind of was uh, this kind of types with yellow color yellow color seeds and this with purple strip and this covered with heavy hair on the compass. Uh, the the the, bamboo, the fresh fruit of this species tastes very delicious and crispy with high nutrient nutrition value. It's a good material for the soup with the chicken. Uh, nutrition component uh, components are rich the plant with protein and the total sugar. Uh, this, this, this is, is this is the soup the fresh soup the cut of fresh soup very 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 delicious and crispy. We have, we have made some work on the anatomical characteristics of the calms during development. We noticed that nuclear elongation with the parenchyma elongation on the TM and the fluoro resonance microscope. We also noticed that two deposition waves in fiber, in fiber wall thickening, one is it can widen between layers, two, it can increase the number of layers. To uh, is this to thicken their uh, fiber cell wall. We get we get the deposition width for each fiber cells were mainly related to their positions in the bundle seas and the strength suffered from the water pressure and the perspiration pool. How, however, we we could not uh, uh, could not determine uh, determine the the strength the the for the fiber suffered. We also uh, detam uh, determined sugar metabolism during shooting sh sh inter uh, internode elongation. And uh, we noticed that higher sucrose contains in shoot bark than shoots, which coincide with the sweeter taste of shoot bark. Shoot bark so the high, so high starch contains, but a lower carbohydrate counterbolids. And the shoot bark sprouted out of the ground the starch and the sucrose were depleted sharply in vertices. Sucrose synthesis and the starch phosphorus release played an important role in the carbohydrate catabolism. Also, we uh, we observed the sugar transport in the developing developing internodes. We noticed that. Significant liver lignification and superization blocked the ample plastic transport. The fibers, the fibers, uh, fibers and the parenchyma cells between found the element uh, deposit, were deposited with significant uh, lignate and, and, and were subarized. Uh, Plasma data were observed that connect the parenchyma cells and company cells. On the TM, we use the CFDA and acid acid fusion to treat uh, to treat the acid minutes and the water transport. Acid minutes were transported out of the vascular bundles in four four directions in the inner tube. From uh, from this uh, the, 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 this direction and this this direction, uh, in the uh, in the outer tube, we noticed that only two directions were uh, were transported. Because, uh, because all phloem were toward the outer zone. Parenchyma cells function as the reeds for the radial transport in and between vascular bundles in bamboo eater nodes. As it means, minutes and the water transport in shoot at a different time. As it means, in shoot comes were mainly transported in downward, in downward direction in, in dino time, in dino time, but upward direction in the night, in the night, and they were transported toward, uh, transported outwards in the inner zoo to the outer zoo in transverse section. The the uh, the transport the uh, the transverse uh, transport the transverse transport velocities also varied with time, with the lowest values and uh, and and noon, and uh, with the highest values and uh, midnight. The transport velocity after uh, the minutes were high in the elongated and the elongated shoes than, uh, than the unelongated shoes. Water transport could promote uh, or inhibit carbohydrate transport with the uncorrelation analysis. 
transpiration inhibited the isomeric transport by the water pressure from modic. Uh, this work we, we published in, uh, in 2020. And uh, we noticed that CAMCIS reflected the internode elongation. When we the cut the strip with the CAMCIS, uh, the, 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 interno the internode will bend it or will bend in, all, in, in just one night. We noticed that the amounts of water leaked from the, leaked from the, uh, comes, the cut place and uh, during the night, which embedded the increase of water in the bare side. Bendy growth of internals were mainly due to the significant difference in cell expansion, expansion which was led by the difference in water pressure and sugar hydrolysis levels between the, in, between the inner, side, in, uh, inner side and uh, the outer side. Bump internals elongation mainly relied on the increase of water pressure and uh, soluble sugar con uh, concentration. Truth says played an important role in the rapid growth, uh, in the rapid growth of bamboo shoots and the controller in water and acid minutes transport transportation. We also do some works on the anatomical leaves. We not noted that few uh, few uh, few soil cells formed complex close the uh, com close the image of leaf blade. No few cells could be observed in, in cis, uh, which were the with was the identification feature between cis and the leaf and the leaf blade. Remarkable remarkable chloral chloral blasts could be observed in bond in bond of cis cells. The parent such grains could be observed in the in the uh, in the uh, chloroplast goes bond bond of these cells. We still don't know the such grains forming the, uh, these plants. We all know bamboo 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 uh, plants belong to the carbon three plants. The sugar forming the uh, form uh, forming the such grains here was uh, su supplied by the uh, by the parenchyma cells or the bond of these cells. We don't know. We also do some work on the storage of bamboo shoots and the low temperature uh, condition. This work will be introduced by, by Dr. Li Xiaoyu. Okay, this is my, my group. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, uh, thanks Dr. Wang. Uh, congratulations, you have finished your great work. Thank you. Okay, now uh, welcome Chiao Guirong, show her report. Dr. Chiao is now working as an associate research fellow at the Subtropical Forestry Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Forestry. Chiao's lab is the first time to establish the genetic transformation system of bamboo and the focus on molecular mechanism of flowering transition, shoot development and cell wall biosynthesis of bamboo. Welcome, Dr. Chiao. Um, can you see and hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Professor Liu. Uh, my name is Chiao Guirong. I come from a subtropi subtropical institute, uh, forestry, Chinese uh, Academy Forestry. I am honored to be here to share our studies. My topic title is a comprehensive analysis of the flora transition in my bamboo reveals the roles of DLFTs involved in flowering. I'll talk about it from three aspects. As everyone knows, bamboos are important forest resources and mainly propagated uh, asexually 
it's difficult to obtain new varieties through hybridization due to the unique flowering characteristics with unpredictable flowering time, three to 120 years or more. Bamboos generally die after flowering, seriously affects the productivity and the stability of forest ecosystems. The regulatory mechanism of bamboo flowering is a big challenge and important research box. To date, more than uh, 300 genes have been found to be associated with the control of flowering time in aridopsis. These genes are mainly involved in five regulatory pathways, photoperiod pathway, aging pathway, vanillation pathway, gibberellin pathway, and uh, autonomous pathway. These pathways eventually aggregate to regulate a small number of flower integrator genes, including FT, SOC1, and leaf, thereby greatly affecting the flowering process. Ma bamboo represents a kind of symbodium bamboo species. Genetic transformation protocols have been established, which are beneficial for gene functional analysis. Spor uh, sporadic flowering often occurs in ma bamboo forests, but little is known about the mechanisms responsible for the flora transition. In this study, the eminent flowering bamboos were found in the wild and transplanted into the greenhouse. Some of them flowered while others resumed vegetative growth in the same clump. These two materials were used to study. The leaves of flowering bamboo differentiated rapidly and became smaller flower buds were formed on all branch nodes. All leaves fell off and the whole plant died after flowering. The leaf thickness and the fused cell length and the length of the flowering bamboo were significantly decreased. The contents of indo acetic acid, salicylic acid, gibberellin uh, A3 uh, increased, while the transiting riboside decreased in the leaves of flowering bamboo. The chlorophyll and the sucrose content decreased significantly after flowering. To further explore the molecular basis underlying the flowering of ma bamboo, we compared the transcriptome profile of these two leaves. Finally, 1,706 differentially expressed genes were identified and annotated. annotated. The DEGs were related to transcription development hormone, abiotic stress, signaling, and so on. We note that the DEGs involved in photosynthesis and the nitrogen metabolism were downregulated in flowering bamboo. We also identified, identified the DEGs related to the flowering pathway such as photoperiod pathway, age pathway, and GA pathway. The homologous genes of constants, flower locus T, and AP1 were all upregulated in the flowering bamboo.
Firstly, we focus the flora integrated in FT. FT belongs to the PEBP family. Six PEBP family members were identified from the transcriptome data. Three are FT-like genes, two belong to the TFL1-like subfamily, and one MFT-like gene, FT1, FT3, and TFL1, were located both in nucleus and cytoplasm, while FT2 was located only in nucleus. The three FT and one MFT genes were highly expressed in the leaves of flowering bamboo, while two TFL genes were expressed at a low level. The gas staining results of transgenic aridopsis showed that DLFT1 was expressed in vascular bundles. Overexpressed DLFT1 were introduced in mud bamboo. Interestingly, spike leads were observed during the shoot differentiation stage on the selected medium. Although other transgenic bamboos had not yet flowered, the expression of DLFT1 was 800 to 1,600 times of that in wild type. Accordingly, the expression of downstream gene AP1 was upregulated by 100 to 800 times. The overexpression of DLFT1 could promote early flowering in rice. Half of transgenic rice lines with higher expression levels of DLFT1 showed strong early flowering phenotypes. The flowering time shorted to about 40 days. This results indicate that DLFT1 is functionally conservative in promoting flowering. The transgenic bamboo overexpressed DLFT2 were also obtained. The downstream gene DLAP1 was upregulated, but the fault change was lower than that of the transgenic bamboo's overexpressed DLFT1. Although the ectopic overexpression of DLFT2 can lead to an early flowering phenotype in rice, no extremely early flowering phenotype like that caused by DLFT1. An E3 ubiquitin legis, VV growth 3, was identified through yeast to hybrid. WAV3 can interact with DLFT2, while the other FTs and the TFL1 could not interact with it. We speculated that DLFT2 might be ubiquitinated, but further experimental confirmation is needed. Two splicing variants of DLFT3 were observed. Splicing variant one returned an intron, intron that caused the protein translation to terminate at 88 amino acid, and its transcript abundance was more than three times than that of splicing variant two. So the DLFT3 transcripts are mainly no sense splicing. FT can interact with FD, form the complex, and then active the expression of flower meristem identity genes. So we isolated FD homolox genes of my bamboo. Our results showed that D 
DLFT1, FT2, and TFL1 can interact with DLFD protein. Rice overexpressed TFL1 should delay the flowering phenotype. It suggests that DLTFL1 may play a tango uh, with DLFTs. The homologous genes of COHD1 and another three CO families members were upregulated in the flowering bamboo in order to confirm whether DLFTs were regulated by CO proteins. DLCO1 was transformed into ma bamboo. DLFT1 was significant, significantly upregulated in transgenic lines. Furthermore, the ectopic overexpression of DLCO1 upregulated the OSHD3A expression in rice, thus leading to early flowering. In this study, we compared the morphological, physiological, and the transcript, uh, transcriptic differences between flowering and non-flowering bamboos. Finally, three FT genes were identified in my bamboo, and the DLFT1 is a flowering candidate gene with conservative function in promoting flowering. DLFT2 may be ubiquitinated, while DLFT3 transcript was nonsense splicing. DLTFL1 plays antagonistic role with DLFTs. A COFT regulated model might exist in ma bamboo. This study is supported by the funding of National Nonprofit Institute Research Grant of Chinese Academy of Forestry. This is my group. That's all. Thanks for your attention. Okay. Uh, thanks, Dr. Cho. Uh, we welcome the Gordon Sugu from. Kenya Forestry Research Institute. And uh, Gordon, are you there? Hello, Gordon. OK, uh, next one is Dr. Yo. Thank you, Professor Liu. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Wen Jingyao. I'm from Bamboo Research Institute, Nanjing Forestry University. Uh, at present, my research interest is the growth and development of bamboo plants, especially in bamboo flowering. Today is my honor to introduce our previous study, uh, which has been published in Forests. It's about the morphological characteristics and the transcriptome compression of the shoot bars from an ornamental bamboo species, um, Pleoblasters pygmers. Here I will introduce our study from the following aspects. Firstly is the plant materials. The bamboo species has a relatively small size. It's about 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 meters and is widely used in the landscape, and it has high ecological... Yao Lao-shi, your PPT didn't get out of your PPT. You can directly use the PPT to get out of your PPT. Yao Lao-shi, your PPT
Uh, the bamboo species has a relatively small size, is about 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 meters, and is widely used in the landscape, uh, and it has high ecological and economical value in China. In 2015 uh, to 2018, it flowered in the bamboo garden of the Nanjing Forestry University uh, during March to April on the natural environment. Which has uh, which provides valuable plant materials for the study on reproduct reproductive growth of the bamboo species. Truth: We sampled the shoot bars of the bamboo species at uh, different developmental stages, uh, including the dormant shoot bars, uh, the germinated shoot bars, and the flower bars from flying plant, and uh, the dormant shoot bars. Germinated shoot bars and uh, leaf bars from non flying plants. Uh, this made involves four kinds of methods. Uh, we use the conventional paraffin sequing and uh, SEM methods for the morphological observation of the shoot bars of the bamboo species. And uh, we use R sequence and RTQPCR for the uh, screening and the gene expression analysis of the bamboo species. Uh, as figure two and figure three shows, the dominant shoot bars uh, have similar morphological features in the flying and non flying plants. However, the uh, germinated shoot bars displayed upwards difference in, uh, photo, in phototype, uh, as shown in figure two B, C, F, and uh, figure three B and E. Uh, it's also for the flower bars and the leaf bars as shown in figure 2D, G, and uh, figure 3C and F. Uh, as figure 4 shows, many differentially expressed genes uh, involved in many different uh, flowering pathways were screened by eye sequence. For example, uh, there are about uh, 42 genes uh, involved in photo period pathway. And uh, uh, about nine, 19 genes uh, involved in vernalization pathway, six in autonomous pathway, 20 in J pathway, and 21 in H pathway. Uh, in particular, they focus on the SPR transcription factors that may be involved in aging pathway in the study, uh, in the aging pathway. And a total of 28 SPR genes were identified from the bamboo species. Uh, among them, the relative expression level of eight SPR genes is significantly higher in flying plants than that in non-flying plants. Uh, for example, there are two genes uh, significantly highly uh, expressed in the, in the uh, dominant shoot bars, including SPR 14 and 16. And three in the uh, germinated shoot bars, including SPR 25, SPR 27, and SPR uh, 21. And the three genes in the flying bars, uh, including SPR 5, SPR 13, and F SPR uh, 17. We also conduct the RTQPR validation of the eight SPR genes. As figure six shows, we can see um, the, uh, the expression trends of the eight uh, SPR genes uh, quantified by RTQPR are consistent with R sequence results in general. Uh, in conclusion, our study is well presented the morphological differences of the shoot bars at the different uh, growth periods. And uh, we provide the uh, uh, differentially spread genes uh, involved in different uh, flying pathways, which enrich the uh, reproductive growth of the bamboo species. Of significant, uh, of significant uh, uh, interest of the study uh, is the screening of 28 SPR transcription factors that may be involved in aging pathway. And the identification of eight SPR genes that are significantly higher in flying plants than that in non-flying plants. 
uh, which sheds less on the underlying uh, underlying functions of SPR transcreation factors in the uh, bamboo species. Uh, our work is funded by two national natural science foundation of China. Uh, here, I would like to thank our team members for their artworks. Um, and uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, uh, thanks, Dr. Chiao. Okay, next one uh, is uh, Dr. Yu from Southwest Forest University. Okay, Dr. Yu, are you there? Okay, Hello. you can show oh, your okay. report. Hello, oh, Professor Liu. Could you hear a fear? Yes. Dr. Liu? Yeah. Could you hear us? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's very pleasure for me to attend this conference. My name is Li Xia Yu. I come from uh, Southwest Frederick University. Uh, today, I would like uh, to present my paper, uh, Physiological Change of Bamboo Shoot. Of bamboo, of bamboo shoes during storage and the related cold storage mechanism. Um, traditionally, bamboo shoes are usually harvested with a spade or hoe, which can leave a severe wood at the cut end. Therefore, bamboo shoes deteriorate rapidly from mechanical measure during harvest resulting in significant loss of quality. The degradation of nutrition and woody fibers uh, leads to phys phys physical and uh, chemical change in fresh bamboo shoes, which in turn negatively uh, limit the shelf life during storage and affect consumer preference. Um, my presentation uh, we'll cover the following aspects. The shelf and the bottom parts of the shoes began dying and shrinking under both storage temperature after three days. Well, the shoes stored at room temperature darkened and more than those stored at cold temperature. Bamboo shoes browned rapidly when stored at room temperature conditions. Under room temperature conditions, fresh cut shoes turn brown rapidly in the middle and bottom parts within three to six days, and then complete, completely browned after nine to 12 days. However, low temperature storage conditions significantly inhibit the browning of shoes. The shoe shelf and shoes stored at both room temperature and cold temperature showed a decreasing trend in order to the respiration range from the bottom, middle, upper parts. All parts declined sharply during the first three day storage period. Uh, shoes start green were catapulted rapidly during the first three days of storage at RT, but were maintained under cold storage temperature. The starch, the loop of sugars, and the SC content in all parts of the shoes decreased sharply during the first three days of storage, and then consistently declined in subsequent storage period. Accordingly, the activity of sucrose and starch catabolism enzyme decreased consistently in all parts of the shoes during storage. Enzymatic activity 
was significantly inhibited under CT conditions and recovered rapidly under subsequent RT conditions. In general, bamboo shoes sought at cold temperature inhibit PA degradation and maintained well during storage. The accumulation of MID, hydroperoxide, and total phenols were always less in shoes sought at cold storage temperature than at room temperature, which indicated that low temperatures significantly reduce those productions. The activity of PAL and POD increased firstly and then declined, decreased significantly, which indicated browning and lignification competed in final consumption. Ligny and cellular content uh, induced increased consistently, whether stored at room temperature or at cold temperature, and they accumulated more rapidly during the first three days of storage. There was a metabolic flow among physiology indices of post harvest shoes during storage, and the NSC uh, flowed uh, under under city under city uh, con conditions. Uh, the NSC flowed into uh, ligny cellulars and uh, respiration. Under RT conditions, the NCS uh, flowed mainly in uh, total fins, cellulars, and ligny. Total fins uh, resulting in browning of bamboo shoes. A uh, respiration result in uh, sincere, sincere and the deterioration of shoes, and PA content. Um, mainly consumed by uh, respiration of cells and shoes and um, involved in uh, the final synthesis. Um, bamboo shoes can stay fresh for six days in cold storage. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thanks, Dr. Yu. And the next one is Hu Tianyi from Jiangxi Agricultural University. Hello, Hu Tianyi, are you there? Okay, uh, next one is uh, Wang Yikun uh, from Zhejiang Li Shui College. Oh. Wang Yikun. Okay, it's very clear. Okay. Oh, good afternoon, uh, every uh, expert. Uh, I'm Wang Yikun from Yisui College. Uh, today, uh, the topic of my report uh, is research on uh, stand structure and uh, rhythm uh, characteristics of most bamboo in different uh, expansion stages. Um, background. Uh, we know uh, <clears throat> most bamboo is one of the important uh, economic uh, forest uh, species in China. Uh, as a topical large uh, clone plant, uh, most bamboo has a strong uh, 
uh, reproduction ability. So, uh, most people can invade uh, adjacent areas uh, through underground rhythm uh, system. Uh, and uh, compete with uh, other tree uh, species for uh, space uh, and uh, uh, resources uh, through a uh, clone uh, cl characteristics uh, uh, such as uh, physiological uh, integration and so on. So uh, can uh, seize the uh, ecological uh, niche and uh, finally, uh, uh, PPT uh, 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 and finally, uh, from pure uh, most bamboo forest. <coughs> so in, in this study, uh, the difference of standard structure and the uh, rhythm uh, characteristics uh, in different uh, stages of expansion of most bamboo into uh, coniferous and uh, broadleaf forest, uh, forest were explored. Uh, ex uh, experiment uh, field. Uh, the uh, test area is uh, uh, located in uh, Fengyang Mountain or Longquan City, uh, Zhejiang um, Province. Most bamboo for forest uh, was uh, formed uh, by natural expansion after introduction in the last century uh, with no human interference. Uh, the experiment uh, methods. Uh, each bamboo expansion forest uh, was uh, uh, divided into three stages. Uh, the bamboo uh, coniferous and uh, broad leaved uh, mixed forest in the uh, competi uh, competitive uh, exclusion stage. Uh, this is A. Uh, and uh, the bamboo forest in the uh, dominant uh, maintenance stage after expansion, uh, this is B. And uh, the bamboo forest in the dominant, dominant uh, maintenance uh, stage for a long time after expansion, this is the C. <laughs> the investigation on characteristics of underground rhythms of bamboo by underground insight uh, excavation method and uh, uh, separation of uh, soil uh, fauna by dry fauna method. Uh, during the process of the expansion of moss bamboo into uh, coniferous and uh, uh, brown leaf forest, the density of moss bamboo forest uh, increased. Uh, but we can see the DBH uh, decreased. And the rhythms were most uh, distributed in the zero to 10 uh, centimeter soil layer. And the uh, by mass of uh, dot rhythms in North Bamboo Forest on the uh, dominant uh, maintenance stage were uh, significantly higher than that in other forests. 
uh, we found a close relationship between underground reasons, uh, characteristics, and the standard structure. The, bi the biomass of uh, daughter rhythms and the aging rhythms of most Bible were uh, positively uh, correlated with uh, density of Bible forest. And the uh, length and the diameter of rhythm of most Bible were positive. Actively uh, correlated <coughs> with TBH uh, or most bamboo. Uh, the forest uh, involved from the bamboo uh, coniferous and uh, broadly fixed forest in the uh, comparatively exclusion stage in the uh, bamboo forest in the uh, dominant uh, maintenance stage. The contents of uh, soil uh, uh, organic matter and the total uh, nitrogen were uh, high in this expansion process, uh, but uh, decrease when the uh, standard structure of most bamboo uh, declined in the long-term uh, demand maintenance stage. So you can see uh, the soil organic, uh, organic matter and the total uh, nitrogen uh, were uh, positively uh, correlated with uh, biomass of young rhythms and uh, uh, negatively uh, correlated with uh, by mass or aging rhythms of most bamboo. <clears throat> but finally, uh, soil fauna uh, plays an important role in the processing process of uh, system uh, circulation. The density of Okay, the density of might and uh, projectile had a significant uh, uh, positive uh, correlation with the uh, biomass of engine lizards on most bamboo. This may be because the forest land with more engine lizards has uh, uh, high uh, soil Policy, uh, which is conductive to the increase the uh, density of the, this uh, soil farm. Uh, finally, uh, conclusion. Uh, the long time expansion of most bamboo into uh, corner furnace and uh, ground leaf forest will lead to the decline of the standards. Uh, tru structure and the uh, rhythm of the most bamboo forest. And a human uh, intervention can be uh, appropriate to maintain the uh, ecological uh, fun function of the most bamboo forest. Uh, my report is uh, finished. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, Dr. Wang. And uh, next is uh, Hu Tianyi from Jiangxi Agriculture University. Welcome. Uh, can, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. I'm Hu Tianyi from Jiangxi Agricultural University and Jiangxi Provincial Key Laboratory for Bamboo Gemplasm uh, Resources and Utilization. 
uh, I would like to thank the organizing committee for giving me this um, a process opportunity. Uh, the following topic I will share. Uh, um, the following topic I will share is that granules changes in bamboo shoots during the elongation growth of phyllos patches actually is petulant. Um, uh, elongation growth is a key process of bamboo and is closely related with the biomass. Uh, and the elongation growth is the process of substances repeat accumulation. Uh, however, there is no clear research on the material transformation mode and, uh, and related uh, mechanism in the process of the elongation growth. Uh, starch granules as a main storage form of matter and energy uh, reflects the characteristic of the elongation growth which is of great significance to reveal the material metabolic mechanism of the elongation growth of bamboo. Um, uh, previously, uh, experts and scholars have made some studies and discoveries on uh, starch granules of bamboo, uh, but there is a lack of systematic research on starch granules of bamboo, uh, especially in the elongation growth uh, process. materials and methods. Uh, in this work, uh, Phyllos patches, at least petulant, uh, can variety of bamboo with good value among the varieties of Phyllos patches, at least. Uh, it not only grows fast, but also has thick, uh, thick core walls. So uh, its material metabolic mechanism during the elongation growth is more worthy of our study. Uh, bamboo shoots, uh, different uh, developmental stages were harvested with the uh, internals, uh, sampled from the base to the top and arched uh, arch in, arch into the upper path, middle path, base path, and the nose. Uh, the paraffin sections combined with optical microscopy te uh, techniques were used. And we use a software just the light to process this picture to quantify fluorescence intensity. Uh, the results uh, show that the content of such granules great, uh, gradually decreases with the elongation growth of bamboo combs. Um, please look at the plate one. The plate shows such granule distribution at cell morphology at different developmental stages. Uh, there were a lot of starch granules at the uh, um, meristematic stage, uh, much less at the uh, early stage of elongation growth, uh, even less at the rapid elongation growth. Uh, and, and at the elongation cessation stage, there were almost uh, no starch granules observed. Uh, in the other direction, uh, the content of starch granules in the same internals uh, increase uh, from top to base. Uh, the plate two shows starch granule distribution and cell morphology at early stage of elongation growth. Uh, there were more starch granules in the internal base part than those in other two parts, and uh, most in the nose. The starch granule distribution at rapid uh, elongation stage was similar to that at early stage of elongation growth. Uh, at, the, at the elongation cessation stage, uh, no starch granules were observed in long uh, parenchyma cells of uh, internal to middle part and upper part, except short uh, parenchyma cells in the base part and the note with uh, little granules. 
uh, we found a very uh, interesting phenomenon. Uh, abnormal diaphragm led more fat granules than those in the normal internals and similar content of in each uh, of in each part of the uh, internals and nodes. And the uh, and the distribute and the distribution of fat granules in the internals and nodes nicer to the uh, abnormal internal was normal. Uh, such granule distribution in the radial direction of the comb mall was also uh, different. Uh, the starch granule gradually decreased from the outside to the inside. This plate shows the distribution of starch granules in the radial direction at the beginning of elongation. Uh, we found there were more starch granules in the regions near outer comb and less in the uh, in the regions. The distribution of starch granules during the rapid elongation stage uh, also shows the same trend rule. We also found more starch granules near the vascular bundle at rapid, uh, at rapid elongation stage. Uh, after that, a new question arose. Are there any starch granules around the vascular bundles during elongation cessation stage? The answer is yes. Uh, uh, this is a new discovery. Uh, we quantified the fluorescence into uh, intensity data. The, quanti uh, the quantitative study of starch granules was consistent with the uh, results of uh, microscopic observation. Based on the results, uh, we made the model of uh, distribution of starch granules. The arrow points to more starch granules. Um, uh, previous studies have shown that the order of development of uh, bamboo shoots is that the internode at the bottom develop first and the internode at the top develop later. Uh, well, and uh, individual internodes develop from the upper to the base and the, finding, and the findings of our study are consistent with it. Uh, the comb nose has a, a complex uh, network of um, vascular bundles, which plays an important role in the transverse transport. Uh, the abnormal uh, diaphragm led to different distribution of starch granules and manifesting externally as uh, shortened internals, which attributed to block uh, material transverse transport. However, the adjacent internals to abnormal nodes showed normal external um, morphology, internal, uh, cell uh, internal cell structure and starch granules distribution, uh, indicating that the uh, elongation of individual internals is uh, relatively independent. Uh, regarding the phenomenon that starch granules are more in the outside and less in the inside in the granule direction, a uh, radial direction, uh, the study by Professor Wang's team have uh, have shown that uh, similars are outward transported from the inner zones to the outer zones in transverse sections, and the findings of our study are consistent with it. Based on the above results, we draw the following conclusions. Uh, the temporal and special, uh, special uh, dynamics of starch granules are uh, closely consistent, consistent with the development of internal cells of Velocitatis agilis petulin. The, uh, 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 the elongation of a individual internals is relatively independent. The nose made 
graduate the elongation growth of bamboo, mainly by controlling material transport uh, transportation. I would like to thank my mentor and team for their help. Thank you to the uh, organizing committee. Thank you to the laboratory. Thank you to the National Foundation. Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the chair of this section, Dr. Guo Hua Liu, uh, I will say a few words before the closing the section. First, many thanks for Imba to help us to host this section. We will also thanks for International Bamboo and Rattan Center, Jiangxi Agriculture University, and Southwest Forest University for the partner to uh, for this section. We also thank all the experts who give the wonderful presentation. Last, we will thank for all audience for your attention. That's all. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.